Hola guys, happy Saturday. I almost said Sunday. I'm a day ahead of myself, y'all. How are y'all? I hope y'all are good. I am chilling at the canton. Little dude and I hit the streets a little late today. Um, I slept through my oil change appointment. I thought I had set my alarm, but apparently I didn't. But I just took it as a sign that I needed to rest. Um, I'll go next weekend. But um, we got a late start because, like I said, my body was like, rest. It's been a rough, uh, I'm not going to say two weeks. Last week was really uh, stressful at work. Um, this week was better, um, but I was still trying to maneuver uh, from the week before, you know, just past all the ashes from the fires I put out the week before. Um, but I'm glad it's the weekend. I needed it. The house needs it. I've been slacking on the vacuuming and the mopping of the floors. My floors are struggling, y'all, so I need to get with it. But y'all know I couldn't stay in the house, so we headed out um, snooping around. We went and had lunch, and then uh, we went to Knickknacks, and I snooped around there and um, had a nice little surprise there. I actually won a raffle. Uh, and I have an item that I want in the bag that I want to open with you guys. I don't know what it is. I can tell it's something breakable just by the sound of it because i kind of been banging around with a little thing. I forget that there is something obviously fragile in there. But uh, we'll peek in the little bag uh, for that. Uh, but I've been up to my normal things. Hold on, guys. I'm thirsty. Been up to my normals since our last um, get-together. Uh, last Sunday, took a little dude for his haircut, and after his haircut, we went into Thrift Town for a little bit because I tend to overeat at this establishment, and then your girl needs to walk. This bag is full of Christmas ornament magnets. I'm very curious. They're all wrapped up, so... They seem in good condition, but I'm looking through the Christmas for vintage ornaments. Y'all know I love a vintage ornament. Nothing vintage so far, just these bags of uh, really pretty colored ornaments. This teal is really pretty. I see leaded glass back here. Let me sneak a peek a little at this closer. This leaded glass beauty is almost worth the $5.99, but I'm not really here to shop. I'm just here to walk off my Norma's lunch. We ate way too much. Look at this onesie, guys. So stinking cute. I'm so tempted. It would fit and cover my monster and just be comfy, loungy goodness. So adorable. So I found some amazing things there. Uh, oh my goodness, purchase. <sighs> that I'm very excited to show you guys. It's already been washed uh, because I needed to experience the squooshiness of it so y'all already pretty much know by my saying that what it is and then I've been to Goodwill twice uh this week and then like I said I went to Nick Neck so let's get into the goodness of it all I'm gonna <laughs> that is one of the things we picked up I need to cut your nails it's one of the things we picked up today at Nick Necks. I haven't done Nick Necks yet you have sugar or something on your chin Sugar Chin, that'll be his new name, Sugar Chin. Well, let's do knickknacks then. Um, I got, we got, I'll show you this part of knickknacks since his little bottom is down here. These are the little cigar cutters where you cut the, the edges of uh, the cigar off. And there were two for a $1.50. I'll show you guys more about the pricing on there. And turns out they were on sale. So little dude got one because it take him back to his um, Cub Scout days. And then I have another one that I'm going to give to my friend Alicia because she likes a good cigar every now and then. And I Which thought one? it would just be the, the other one. Oh yeah. The other one. I'm going to give it to Logan's mommy. 
for the tips on her cigar. And then you want to say hi, show your face. Mm. <laughs> and then we picked this up. You tell them what it is because I don't really know. A bull alien. It's a bull alien and it's from 1992. And he really likes these aliens and a lot of these toys are hard to find. So when he saw it, he got uber excited and so did I because I'm from that time. <laughs> Come for the face hugger. Uh, so it was a little pricey. It was $19.95, but considering these are hard to find and they're comparable online as well. And then you end up paying shipping, so it's going to cost more. So yeah, I didn't mind paying that for him, paying that for that for him because I know he really, really likes it. Just so that's part of our knickknack uh, uh, little haul. I'll show you the last little bits here in a little bit. Let me show you what I picked up at Thrift Town. I'm so geeked out, hold on. My marbles in my way. I'm drinking one of these friggin' Ramunes and this might be defective because the marble keeps getting stuck in the hole. Totally ruining my vibe. Okay, but like I said, I wasn't really looking for anything. I went in there and before I walked in, I was kind of like talking to Angel Melinda saying, look girl, I ain't here trying to spend no money, so. You better not be trying to tempt me with nothing. And if the girl didn't listen and sent little thrifty, uh, um, little thrifty fairies down my way, because look what I found, guys. I already washed it. Look, now y'all know I love a rose or a flower on anything knitted. You guys, let me insert pictures of what it looks like um, spread out and of the detail of the rose. Oh my gosh, this was $4.99 or $5.99. I can't remember, but I also took a picture before I washed it just to show you guys who are interested in the prices. But look at this thing. It is huge. It almost covers my whole uh, mattress, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it was pretty stained up. So I spray and washed it and I washed it and it's nice and awesome smelly and I've already used it, but I had to show it to you guys. So I got this gorgeousness. And then also, this one was so stinking pretty and it looked pretty rough. It's not as soft as that one and it's a little pilly and it had a few little stains on it, but I couldn't resist the colors. Look at the colors. It reminds me of Sherbert, that rainbow Sherbert. This is very, very soft, but like I said, you could tell it's been around because it is pilly. It has a... Uh, quite a bit of peeling, but it's okay. It's gorgeous and it's handmade. Look, it even has little fringy bottoms on here. So stinking cute. I think this one was also $4.99, maybe $5.99, I'm not sure. But there's no way I was gonna leave it behind. It was beautiful and this one's pretty big. This one does cover my entire mattress. I haven't used this one yet. Yes, I did, yes I did, I took a nap. I took a nap. Uh, on the sofa with this one already. So yes, yes people, I am using them. I don't just uh, fold them and um, think that they're covered in um, bed bugs and wake up and freak out for nothing. If y'all don't know what the heck I'm talking about, I talked about that on another video. Something wrong with me. But that's all I picked up there. Well, little dude picked up a bag of random toys that he has since been put into rotation up in his room. But that's all. Because like I said, I was trying to be good. But Melinda was not having it. Okay, Melinda's like, boom, here's your flowers. So that's that. Also this past week I went to Goodwill and I picked up a few things there. It was another wanna punch people in the chest kind of days. So I'm here. I start in the back now because bigger items are harder to resist. And then I see something like this. Look at this. Pretty, pretty coffee table. These chairs are nice. I like the green. Look, crackly glass loveliness. That shade is terrible. Yep. 
I was like wondering if they were still nine three ninety three, and they are. That's pretty. That's a pretty little lampshade. Look at the shape of that. That's nice. I like that. I keep coming back to this, guys, because it is so pretty for plants. But I don't have any room for it. My nostalgic heart jumped. It's missing the cord and the lid, but that's a nice little trip down my mama's kitchen lane. The shelves are pretty bare. I thought I'd come to the metal scrolly goodness shelves before my battery died. And there's not much here. What is the dealio? Every time I record, I swear there's some kids screeching in the background. But anywho, yeah, the metal scrolly goodness shelves are pretty bare. Doing a quick peekaloo for Afghans, and they have this one with these little knitted feathers, but it's real pilly. What? I don't think so. I find it way better condition ones cheaper at Thrift Town. I don't think so. That's cute. For a little boy's room, or just anybody that likes comic books. Look at the sentiment on this pillow. First we had each other, then we had you, now we have everything. That is so sweet. I love it. Look at all these pillies, guys. All these pillies. I'm drawn to yellow. That's pretty. Look at how dainty these are. Those are so pretty. Let's see if there's any temptation here. Look at this big old monster lid. Do I need this? Why do I think I need this? I think I need this. It might be a little too big, and if it is, I'll just re-donate. But I think I need this. We'll see. Let's see. Anything interesting here? Y'all spy anything with y'all's little eye? Ooh, look! Walkie goodness. Been wanting a walk. This one has a lid. Three ninety three. Hmm. Look at that big old pot down there. I wonder if that's a canning pot or what. Every time I see something, I think I think of tamales. Let me sneak a peekaloo a little up close. I had both of these in my basket because y'all know I'm weirdly obsessed with colanders, but I don't need another one, even though this is a stainless steel one. And then this is a Pampered Chef clay little loaf pan. But I have an individual, I mean, a, just a regular loaf pan, and really, I'm not never going to use this. But it's only $3.93, that's why I was tempted. I did get this pretty little shade just because I know I have a lamp that, <laughs> and tala pipi pow. The lamp I have in here actually would be pretty with that, but I have my stained glass little Tiffany-esque fakey shade on there, but it's gorgeous. I thought it was too pretty. I love the whole shape and style. I thought they were gonna be 290 something, but the cashier dude rang it up 191. So I know that's gonna get used. So stinking pretty. I found a resin cross. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I ain't leaving it behind, especially at no 191. So grab that. I did go ahead. Ooh, I don't knock y'all down. I did go ahead and grab this giant lid because I was convinced that it was gonna fit this bowl. You guys, it didn't. Y'all remember this? This is my um my tortilla bowl. This is where I put my masa when I make my tortillas. 
and I wanted a lid. I don't need a lid. I just put a little trapo, a little dishcloth over my masa, you know, to let it set a while. But I wanted a lid. And I thought, because this bowl is humongous, that this was going to fit and it's way too big. So I feel like an idiot for having purchased this. But I do have um soup pot that this would fit even though the soup pot already has a lid i don't know i may just redonate this i don't know maybe pinterest will find me something to do with this who knows but i was really bummed out about that uh and then i found this which i have been wanting it's it's been worn it's been used it has some worn to her to it okay but if y'all know me y'all not been wanting a tamale pot for a long time i don't even know how to make tamales okay but i can reheat a tamal okay and i like to reheat them better by steaming them then on the kumal, the, the, the grill or the skillet. Now, it has some stainage in there. I have a feeling somebody made menudo in this thing or pozole because it has that kind of telltale stain, but that's okay because all I'm gonna use this is for steaming. Uh, but I've been wanting one of these and y'all know I've been wanting one of these and it was $5.95 and I did not mind paying that. So I would like to thank the Salazar family for having donated this sucker because now it's in my home okay so the next trip to goodwill was just a day or so ago and honestly i was so disappointed that the big lid didn't fit this i remember there were two that had been on that shelf so i went ahead and grabbed the second one now it fits okay but it doesn't go you can tell it's obviously not the lid for this bowl. I don't even think this bowl had a lid. I'm just terca. I'm incessant. I'm terca. Is that the right word? I I had it in my head that I needed a lid. It fits and it it works. It seals on it, but I mean, it'll keep me from having to use a little dishcloth over my masa. Whatever. This was 99 cents. So I kind of had a bit of redemption over that big giant one. I felt, oh, well, this 99 cents. I saw this little angel, and I know a lot of people love these and collect them. I, this, I think this is my first one, but I loved her, and the reason I loved her is because she reminded me of my mom. She reminded me of my mom praying for all of us, and then I thought, this could be me because I pray for my kids. It gave me a mother vibe praying for her kids. That's the vibe I got. Absolutely lovely. And she was $3.93. But when I got to the register, this kid behind the register, everything should have rang up to at least $18 or $19. And it rang up to $15. So I know he didn't charge me. He didn't even flip it. It went until after the fact that I'm like, he didn't even flip the thing. So I honestly don't know what he charged me for that. I don't know what I did with the receipt. But I know I should have paid at least $18 and some change. And I paid $15 and some change. So there was this pretty little lady. And then this gorgeousness, oh my gosh, this is everything. This is metal, wood, and metal scrolly goodness. Are you stinking kidding me? It's a cross on a cross with metal scrolly goodness and wood. This cross is everything. And it was $2.92. And it has some nice, uh, a nice little inscription on the back to somebody named Sydney. It's kind of sad that somebody would get rid of it when it was a gift. Um, but it's in my house now, and I love it, love it, love it. So I think that's everything that I've picked up at my Goodwill. Um, oh no, 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 no. I have something over here that I'm gonna have to, it's really heavy. Uh, let me figure this out and then I'll show you because this was my ha oh, moment purchase. This last time I went like a day ago, hold on. So here are the details on the mirror. It's this, it's flat on the front, but ribbed on the back, and it's this silver painted loveliness, and the mirror is mounted on it. Hello, people, hello. Um, see me in my thrifted size 14s? <laughs> Anywho, but there's the mirror. Um, I didn't want to blind y'all, so I'm trying my best to get the visual in here, but it was so pretty to me and it was $9.99 so y'all know I really had to love it to have paid that much. Okay so that was my aha moment at my last Goodwill trip and the only other place I've been to is like I said I went to Nick Next today showed you what little dude got. Here's the second um, little cigar cutter. Uh, it's $1.50 
but it was on sale. They were on sale, I think, 20%. Turns out, everything I purchased, except the Alien, was on sale today. All of the boots were having sales, and I am so tempted to go back tomorrow. But no, I, I don't need to. You guys, when I tell you my nostalgic heart is bursting right now, this is amazing. And they're having a sale. Look at everything. Look at this little wheeled cart. Amazing. You guys, I don't know how long my battery is going to last, but I had to share this. Look at these vintage little items. It's a can opener. You got your potato peeler in here. And I have no idea what this is, guys. What is this? What do y'all think this is? I found, and I keep saying I don't have any more room, and I keep making room. But this is so teeny tiny. I found another kitty for my cat shelf, this little Siamese. And he was $2 and he was 50% off. So I got him for a book. I didn't know he was 50% off. But like I said, it wasn't until I was leaving that I'm like, holy snot burgers. A whole bunch of these vendors are having sales off. So the alien, the cigar cutters, that kitty cat. And then I found this and it's probably the most expensive thing I purchased, but it was on sale for 20% off. And I loved it. I've never paid this much for a thrifted or secondhand or used cross before. It was $9.99 and it was 20% off. So it came out to seven and some cents. And it's okay. Small business, you know. But the reason I wanted it is because I don't know if you guys remember the other very colorful metal scrolly cross that I said I wanted to start embedding some color into my gallery with my picture frames in there. Well, this is cross number two that I'm going to put on there. I hadn't put up the other one because it was just one little lonely one and it looked off. My OCD is not going to work with that. But now I have two. So one's going to go on one wall and the other one's going to go on another wall. And if I can find one or two more, I think it'll be enough and it'll be perfect. But this is gorgeous. And like I said, it was on sale. And I loved it and I had to have it. But that is everything. Oh, no, that is not everything. Okay, I told you guys I want a raffle, right? So you walked in, you write your, piece, your name and your phone number on a little ticket and... They called me, and I'm one of these chicks that don't answer numbers that I don't recognize, and I'm like, who is this number? I don't know who this is. I'm trying to shop. Click. I ignored. And then, as I'm walking around, I saw a man who had also won something showing off his goods to his wife. And I was like, oh, I entered that raffle. What are the odds, right? So I'm like, maybe that's who that was that was calling me. So I checked my voicemail. Sure enough, this is blah, 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 blah from Knickknacks. You've won a raffle. If you can please come back to the store or make contact before 6 p.m. I was in the store. So I went up to the front and I was given this little bag. So like I said, I've been banging it around and I can tell that it's something fragile. But let's see what it is. I haven't peeked. I said, let's do it with, oh, gosh, did I break it? <laughs> Aww. Look, it's a little jalapeno. It's a little red chili bowl. Somebody, one of the vendors was selling it for four bucks at one point. Did I break it? I didn't break it. Did I know? How cute is that? Is it a salsa bowl? I see it has a little, I see it has a little, uh, you know what, let me get this cigar cutter because I'm stuck, I can't open it, hang on. Dear Santa, for Christmas I would like a new phone. It cut off on me. But anywho, I was saying this is a cuteness that I got and there is a tiny little chip on the spoon. I didn't see any little piece in here so it may have already been that way but it doesn't matter, it's adorable. I can seal that up with a little something something and use it as a salsa bowl. But because my phone is tripping and acting up and because I'm also done with everything, I am going to end this little parade through goodies and um, 
let y'all go. So until my next go around, I love y'all bunches. I hope y'all are having an awesome, relaxing weekend. Please try and relax, you guys. Do that for yourself. Relax, relax, relax. We all need to just zone out a little and be in a good space. So till my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Bye.